opened your water bill lately? You may have noticed something that's raising a few eyebrows. It's the subject of this week's Good Question with Pat Taney. And Pat, for some people, this is a bit of sticker shock. Yeah, not in regards to the cost of the bill, unless, of course, you've been using a lot more water than normal. This question is all about a mailing address associated with the Monroe County Water Authority, which, keep in mind, is located right here in Rochester. It's Monroe County Water Authority, not Erie County. Which is why Mike Flavin... I got my water bill on, uh, I think it was Monday. ...asked me this about where he was mailing his payment. I noticed that it was being mailed in to Buffalo. And I, why? Why is it going to Buffalo and not Norris Drive? Norris Drive in Rochester, where the Monroe County Water Authority is headquartered. That's where we met Kathleen Prestige, the authority's finance director. Why are bills sent out of town to Buffalo? Um, Buffalo is where our payments are processed at a bank in Buffalo. Processed by M&T Bank, headquartered in Buffalo. So why isn't the authority using a bank with local headquarters, like, say, Five Star? Two answers, really. A, Kathleen says. M&T is, does have a very strong Rochester presence. And B. We did an RFP, a request for proposal competitive um, process, to select a lockbox bank to handle the processing. And we did send them to Rochester Banks. Those that responded all proposed outside the area processing facilities. At one point, bills were sent to a Rochester P.O. box, but that recently ended. But it became costly to deliver the payments to Buffalo, so that was costing us more money. The address switch, we are told, did not affect local jobs. No, it's a post office box. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is, is a yeah. post office box. The Water Authority did look at processing the payments in-house, bypassing using a bank at all. Uh, the costs, we were told, were just too high, and this is the least expensive option. If you have a good question, I'd love to hear from you. Send me an email, goodquestion at whec.com.